Hey, what's up? Ron here. Thank you for joining me in another video. In this one, we're going to learn how to paint portraits very easily by treating the different shapes as abstract shapes, not a nose, but rather this shape of light, not a forehead, but rather this shape of light. And we'll, we'll get beautiful results, these two, okay? This is following a uh, demonstration I did for a student last uh, week and in which I showed exactly that concept using this painting. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same thing and you'll see a beautiful face emerge. So with that being said, let's take it to the table and get started. So you always hear me talk about how to, how you should sketch things as an abstract shape. And what's beautiful about these references is that they do this job for you. I'm not even going to tape my paper here. I wanted this to be a very quick and simple demo. So I'm going to get started with the top. And this is just look at the shape of light and shadow. Just look at the shape of light. There's the forehead. Okay. And then it tucks in like that. Then it goes back out beyond this line over to perhaps here. And I'm not even going to be as accurate as I can be. But I really want to show you how when you look at the shape as abstractly as you can, something incredible will emerge. You'll actually be able to draw it fairly accurately. We can discuss, you know, getting the likeness to the, to the, peop to the person you're painting. That's a whole different story because getting the likeness isn't always easy necessarily, but you do get these very clear shapes. Let me zoom in a bit so you can better see what I'm doing. But, you know, the likeness can be a challenge, but getting something to look kind of like a portrait is really simple. So here we have this edge of the shape, but here we have the eye. So let's get that in. So something like that, it's approximate. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. This, the nose should be a little more pointy and outwards, okay? And then we have this light shape for the eye, goes around the eye like that, then goes back here, we have a highlight, and barely we can see just a small glimmer of the eye, okay? And that's how you sketch these kinds of things out. Now we have the upper lip, like that, we have some highlight for the lower lip, and let's keep it at that, you know, let's just go for it now. And let me show you what I mean by just keeping it simple. I'm gonna zoom back out a bit. Now here, it's relatively easy. We just have black and white, so let's mix some black. And even for these uh, sessions, I don't use pure black. I'm just, you know, using uh, a mix of my primary colors. I just find it to look so much better, okay? So here we go, some blue, some red. We're gonna need lots of it, a bit of yellow. And let's get to it. So I'm just gonna paint around these shapes. There we go. Now he has a bunch of hair here, so I'm gonna leave some white highlights, that's fine. Kind of like that. Now notice what I'm doing. I'm just working around the shapes that I created. And let's see what kind of a result we'll get, okay? Again, for, for it to actually look like the person, I find that can be a bit of a challenge, and I'm not even aiming for that here, quite honestly. I'm just aiming to show you how simple it is to produce something, okay? Some kind of a portrait, because people are so scared of portraits, rightfully so. Portraits are challenging, but not as challenging as you'd think, okay? Here we go, there's this sharp shadow. I'm not even concerned about edges here, and notice the huge brush I'm using. I'm using a huge brush, because I don't care, because it's, it's all about the major shapes. But um, basically, uh, I don't even care about, I'm not concerned about the edges looking good or having a variety of them, some blended, some, I don't care about any of that, okay? Now here we have that uh, glimmer in the eye. I will paint around that very small and gentle. And then we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna cover this up like that. There is this shadow creeping through here onto the bottom of the eyelid, going like that. We're gonna continue this. I hope Ruth doesn't start barking again. I don't know if she hears some noises, she sometimes barks. Oh, no, she just went to her nice little bed. Uh, here we go. Around this, around this shape, around the nose. And hopefully the image of a person starts to emerge right in front of your eyes, okay? And this is like a quick, quick one. I'm gonna show you another one in a moment. So this is, then it gets a little sharper here. This is all in the shadow, leaving some highlights on the beard or mustache, whatever. 
leaving a bit of a highlight on the upper lip, closing this section off. Mostly shadows on the upper lip though. And on the lower lip, we will get to see some of it. And there are a couple of values here. There's a mid value, there's a, um, you know, a very dark shadow. Let's put in the very dark shadow, like that. And then the chin. And then let's, uh, let's close off. This is black completely. And then if I want to get a mid value, I just got some water in my brush. And sorry about the annoying cat outside. And here we go. So hopefully you can see how an image of a person just emerged, okay? If you want to be fancy, you can just get some water. And I'm just going to put the water bucket closer. And if you want to blend some edges, even though this is probably dry already, you can just blend some edge very gently, you see? But this is mainly it. You can start adding some mid values. So for example, there is a mid value shadow here. It's not as dark. It's not as light, this is a little darker, you know. This is a bit of a mid value, a bit of a gradual transition. You can start patching things up, but the basic idea is this. And notice how simple the drawing was. Now let me take a break and then grab another photo and show you how I do that. Once again, same process. So this is another terrific reference to work from and we'll keep it simple once again. So we have the forehead. Notice how it's just a rounded shape. And then this is where the hair comes. And by the way, we'll see some highlights on the hair once again here. Okay. And then we get the shadow on the right side of the face kind of creeping through. Then we get the eyebrow. This is a shape. It's just a light shape. Okay. And then we have the eyebrow casting a diagonal shadow that almost immediately connects to the eyelashes, actually. So that's an interesting little construction there. This moves all the way to here to the nose and you get to see this shape of the eye. This eyebrow goes over the uh, cheek and the forehead so we won't get to see this but there will be a nice gap between the eyelash and this the, the cheek itself which goes like this okay kind of like that then we have the mustache or beard very easy then the nose goes kind of in that direction connects here, goes back. You see this sharp point goes back here. Then there is a shadow under here. There's the nostril. And then we have a shadow on the cheek, okay? Going like that. This already is everything in the shadow aside from one small highlight in the middle for the mouth, okay? So now let's get this one done. Very, very simple. I know it's not necessarily easy, but it is simple. I'm gonna use a slightly smaller brush this time. Let's go with a more, with a warmer feeling for this one. Okay, so lots of red. Doesn't even matter as long as it's a dark value. So for the uh, hair here, um, a bunch of random highlights like that. Going around the face. Now there is a shadow cast by one of the hairs. So let's get that in one or two. Then we'll work our way around this section. Work around this. There may be a weird cut soon, sorry about that. Now, if you wanna blend, you can bring back the other brush and kind of blend some of these shapes in way too much water. Sorry about that, here we go. Just blended some of them into a mid value. Eyebrow, same deal. Connect it, it's all connected. Connect this small line, connect the uh, eyelashes like so. See? Beautiful, beautiful shapes. And going around this one, like so. Going around the nose. So this is all in the shadow. This is really satisfying to do these processes. Trust me, you have to try this. And it's not scary at all. Like, you know, I know a lot of people are scared of sketching people and portraits. This is just super fun. See? A bit of a shadow through here, a bit of a highlight for the mouth or whatever through here, all of the rest is in the shadow. And we got a face. Now one thing I do want to put is the mid values because they are quite significant. So let's get just some paint and water. And there's a mid value through here. It's not as dark. So here we go for the cheek. There's a bit of it going on here. And then if we really want to bring out the effect, let's darken this left section. Yeah. 
and then we'll really get to see the shape of the face. Sorry if I'm blocking some of it. See? And we got a really nice shape for the face. Okay, so hopefully that reads as that. This is what it's all about. This is the first one. Here's the second one that writes quite nicely. You just want to focus on the abstract shapes you see, and this is exactly what I mean by that. High contrast portraits allow you to do that perfectly, okay? I hope this helps. Now let's wrap it up. So I hope you enjoyed this one, and again, that you enjoyed these results. I think this is incredibly important. It allows you to just focus on what matters, which is putting the paint to paper. It removes of all other distractions, no need to treat color, not even values really, it's just light and dark. Instead, what we do is look at shapes. That's really important because shapes is what makes up our paintings. If a painting doesn't have clear, nice shapes, it can be a huge, big mess, and you may not be able to express what you wanted. But here, notice, very, very clear and clean expression, okay? I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know in a comment down below your thoughts, and I will see you again in the next vid.